She's done a ton of work in probably all your favorite movies, from Big Daddy to Ferris Bueller's Day Off. But you might know her from playing Buffy in the Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie. On the line right now, Christy Swanson. Hi. I'm so surprised you're calling from California right now because you married a Canadian and for some reason you guys chose California where it's nice and warm and sunny over, over Canada. Yeah. I got him. I got the Canadian to move here. <laughs> <sighs> That's not probably a hard thing to do. Yeah. Um, you know, he's a motorcyclist, so he likes that he can ride his bike all year round, that's for sure. Now, this is something uh, you're into. You're a, you're a big motorcyclist. Maybe people don't know about you, but you you ride. How many how many bikes do you have? Well, I'm actually in between bikes at the moment. Ooh. Um, I have we have a we have a Harley Switchback, which is what Lloyd is riding right now, and it's um, it's all decked out for him. You know, he's got his Olympic rings on on the seat, and he's got his ape hangers, and he's got it all. You know, it's all murdered out. And it's really cool looking. And um, right now, I'm in between bikes. I had a sporty, like a a night skirt Harley, and then I had a Victory, and now I'm thinking of getting a Ural which is a sidecar bike. So your husband, the Olympian Lloyd, he's got the Olympic rings uh, on his bike. Now, what are you going to do to your bike to make it like the Christy Swanson bike? Oh, my gosh. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I, I just would want it to be really cool. I guess we could put a stake on it or something. That would be kind of... That would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, see, if I did it, I'd probably do, like, the tassels on the handlebars, maybe, like, the nine of diamonds in the, in the wheel so it makes the cool sound when you ride. That'd be cool. <laughs> so, so cool that you are, you're going to be at uh, the Calgary Comic Entertainment Expo April 17th uh, to 19th. Now, is it is it ever, like, kind of weird to you that you, I guess, initially people come to see you from what you did in your work in, in Buffy, and at the time, the movie wasn't exactly a huge success in theaters but then after it was released it kind of just grew and grew and grew into this thing that now you have you have fans lining up to see you Mm -hmm. yeah it's great i mean it's definitely cool and and it's a blessing and i love it and i've noticed over the years there's quite a a mixture of fans because there's the one that the ones of my generation that you know saw the movie originally in the movie at theater let's say and so you know they're kind of like your diehard buffy movie fans and then there's the generation of the TV series, which they really love their TV series and they, they don't want anything to do with the movie. Mm-hmm. And then there's the other group that's kind of mixed on both. They like both. So it's definitely interesting, and uh, I love meeting the fans, and I love answering all their questions. It's really quite a riot and a lot of fun. Now, is it true that your parents were phys ed teachers? They were, yes. They are retired now. They're in their 70s, but... Um, but yeah, they were phys ed teachers. So initially, is that something that maybe helped you land this role, being such a physical role playing Buffy, having such a physically active upbringing? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I definitely was. Uh, I was a jock as a kid. You know, I did all kinds of sports and dance, lots and lots of dance. So when it when, when it came to me having to train for the movie, all I did was ten hours of training. I, I worked two hours a day with a martial artist just to get some of the moves down that they wanted to use in the film. And and then after that, it was just choreography, basically. I didn't have to become a martial artist in order to play or do that role. It was, you know, movies are an illusion. It's all about making it look like you know what you're doing. You don't really know how to do it if you don't know how to do it. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. No tricks. Now, my other question, if, you're, if your parents were phys ed teachers, do they, was it, did they wear the whistles at home, too? Was that ever, did they discipline you at home with the whistles and the, and the big ring of keys on the lanyard? Is that, do they do that at home, too? <laughs> no, not yeah. at all. That is so freaking hilarious, though. I love that visual. <laughs> That'd be, just blow, every time you come in late, they got the, they're blowing the whistle at you. That's enough. We told you 10 o'clock. Do some push-ups. <laughs> or... The bullhorn in my face. Get up! You know, I don't know. It's crazy because uh, my my fiance is actually a teacher, and she said, uh, every, like, pretty much if you're a teacher, the the one scene that always comes up when you when you start a class, it's always that Ferris Bueller uh, day off scene, and you were and you're actually a part of that. You were the one who kind of like tried to give the teacher the old excuse to where Ferris was. That's right, Ferris Bueller. One of my favorite movies ever. I think everybody's favorite movie. I mean, I haven't met anybody that doesn't like Ferris Bueller, mm-hmm. 
But uh, even my eight-year-old son loves Ferris Bueller. You know, it still plays to even this young generation. It, it just works, you know? Yeah, it's that one scene that, like, it's, yeah, like she said, every time she starts a class, she always, you know, you, you got you to show that scene in the kids. It's, like, it's hilarious. It's the, it's the like, most iconic scene from that time, and it's so cool that you're, you're a part of that. Yes, and here we go. My best friend's sister's boyfriend's brother's girlfriend, her husband's guy knows this kid is going out with the girl who saw Ferris pass out at 31 Flavors last night. I think it's pretty serious. I think that's right. I don't know. I forget. <laughs> but it's close enough. Wow, that is amazing. That is, <laughs> that is very cool. Something like that. Now, you are a mom. Now, you have one kid, right? Or do you have two kids? Just one that I know of. I wasn't sure because I saw there were some photos and stuff, but I wasn't sure if it was like other people's kids or how many kids you have. And I was like, so you have, you have one kid. Yeah. A, I have a son named Magnus, and cool. uh, and he's eight years old. Wow! So is this something yeah. that you know that mom's doing? You know, being being a, an actor is that something that you're gonna you would hope that your your son gets into someday, or how, what are your thoughts on you know maybe him getting into uh, your line of work? You know, it's I'm just leaving it up to him. Um, he certainly is exposed to it to a certain degree. Um, he's not exposed to the whole being a kid and going out and auditions and doing that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I don't even think he has that desire. But he does come around the set when I'm working and, and hangs out and watches what I do. And he's starting to get to that age where he's been on set, then he goes and watches the movie. And he's getting curious. He's played a couple parts in a few movies over the last year just to get his feet wet a little bit and see if he likes it. Uh, if it's something he wants to pursue, I will support him. And and if he's really good at it, then I'll support him even more. And if he really sucks at it, then I'll probably <laughs> divert him to something else. I don't just know. Yeah, just blow the whistle. Yeah, I'll blow the whistle on him. But <laughs> right now it's all about hockey. He's just a hockey freak. So, um, so I support his. I'm a hockey mom. And I love it. It's awesome. <laughs> very cool. That is very cool. And now, before we get off the line here, it is uh, it is a Juno weekend in Canada. It's our big Canadian uh, award show that celebrates Canadian music. Now, you have a lot of ties with Canadians, considering you're currently married to one. So I was wondering if you had any, uh, you know, favorite yes. Canadian artists. You know, what do you, what's your go-to? David Foster. He's one of my favorites. I love David Foster. I love David Foster. He's amazing. Well, any thoughts of maybe moving up here where the husband's family is? You know, we got the David Foster and the hockey and well, the, the, the free health care. Ah, uh, maybe. I don't know. The Dallas Stars are talking to us right now about uh, maybe going down there and working. I don't know. They're talking to my husband right now about maybe going there. But Ooh. I don't know. I, it depends on what happens in the United States. If, if it all... If it, <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen in the near future? We may end up in Canada. Who knows? Like I said, you love hockey. This is like the land of hockey. I love it. And you know what? I'm there. I, I probably spend three months, three to four months out of the year in Canada because I'm always shooting in uh, Vancouver for some reason. For the last, like, four or five years, I've been in Vancouver, like, three to four months a year. So I love it, you know? I love, I love Canada. Well, Christy Swanson, thank you so much for the time. We will see you at the Calgary Comic and Entertainment Expo. You're there Friday through uh, Sunday, so April 17th to 19th. Thanks again for the time, and uh, we will we'll definitely see you there next month. All right. Can't wait to meet you. See you there.